Hi, this is uh, Chaplain Rick coming to you from my chapel. And uh, welcome. And being the chaplain at St. Joe's, well, we're doing this like, social isolating thing, and so here I am in the chapel, and I thought this is a good place to um, do our meditation, our Wednesday meditation. So this is my first attempt at uh, doing a recording like this, like so many others. But uh, I'm glad you could be with us. Usually we meet on Wednesday in the library at St. Joe's uh, Church in Ottawa, but uh, here we are in Chelsea. So I thought I'd just show you around the chapel here so you can get a little view of it. So as you can see, I've got my uh, wall of saints over here behind me. And, uh, and my little altar. I figure out how to get out of the way so you can see this. It's my little altar. Okay, it this way. So you can see it. And, uh, I even have a little fountain here beside me. I don't know if you can hear it. There's my fountain prayer books and as well my musical system and my monastic prayer bench that I use and as well I have the Blessed Sacrament at the corner here it is there preserved sacrament I should say and uh, so just a quick little tour as we uh, get into the mindset for meditation. Now, on the phone, on your phone, there are two apps that are available to use when we meditate uh, because we meditate for about 20 minutes after we listen to a little uh, reflection from uh, Dom Lawrence. Lawrence Freeman from the Community of the World Wide uh, Meditation Center. And they have a nice new location in France now. So on that little app, they have an app. Uh, there's a, all kinds of things on it, including uh, timing features. So you can meditate whatever length of time you meditate. Usually we do about 20 minutes. I have my own little Buddhist. Uh, so we'll try here, you can hear it. So we can use that. Um, also, Thomas Keating and company, the contemplative uh, community out of um, Boulder, Colorado, they have an app as well with, with well different sounds uh, to use for meditation. So we happen to be using uh, Lawrence Freeman's uh, Worldwide Christian Community Meditators. Here's a prayer to recite for our opening meditation. We can say it together. Heavenly Creator, open our hearts to the silent presence of the Spirit of your Son. Lead us into that mysterious silence where your love is revealed to all who call. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Jesus is called a teacher more often than by any other name in the gospel. Master, Rabuni, teacher. What does he teach? Does he teach us rules and regulations and ways of uh, keeping the, all the commandments of the law? Above all, Jesus is a teacher of contemplation. This is his great importance, and this is what we often miss when we think or read about Jesus. Why do I say that? Because if you look at the Gospel and what Jesus tells us about prayer in particular, you see very clearly he's teaching us contemplation. 
Let's take, for example, his words in the Sermon on the Mount in uh, chapters 5, 6 and 7 of St. Matthew's Gospel. First of all, he warns us against external religion because external religion can simply feed the ego. So he says, don't stand on the street corners trying to attract people's attention and feed your, your fame or your reputation or the way other people see you. But he says, when you pray, go into your inner room and pray to your heavenly Father who is in that secret place. The word secret means mystery, a mysterious place. And what we learn from meditation is that we are a mystery to ourselves. God is a mystery, but the depths of our own being open us to that mystery of self, which opens up into the mystery of God. So now we're going to meditate. I'm going to ring the chime, and then we're going to meditate for 20 minutes. So if you have a way of timing yourself, and when the 20 minutes are finished, we can come back and go from there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that time of meditation. If, if it worked well, you'll find yourself getting into a space, a peaceful space, but the time will pass quite quickly. And um, for many who encounter this for the first time, or at least who are new to it, it's very refreshing and renewing. Of course, we try to do this ideally twice a day, in the morning and in the evening do it once a day, well that's great too. So I hope you enjoyed our little meditation session and um, we'll do it again next Wednesday. And take care of yourself, stay safe, don't forget to take advantage of the grace and the blessing of our Lord. I won't be with you. Here's our closing meditation prayer, if you'd like to join me. May this group be a true spiritual home for the seeker, a friend for the lonely, guide for the confused. May those who pray here be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to serve all who come and to receive them as Christ himself. In the silence of this room, May all the suffering, violence, and confusion of the world encounter the power that will console, renew, and uplift the human spirit. May this silence be a power to open the hearts of men and women to the vision of God, and so to each other in love and peace, justice, and human dignity. And may the beauty of the divine life Fill this group and the hearts of all who pray here with joyful hope. May all who come here, weighed down by the problems of humanity, leave giving thanks for the wonder of human life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>